Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Corian, and today we're going to be doing a walkthrough of the 270RL Sabre. So this is a floor plan that is 30 feet 4 inches in length and just under 7,800 pounds. And you really get a lot in a small package with our lightweight series. So to start off with, you're going to see the first of our two pantries that we have in this unit. This pantry also has a motion light, so you can put a lot of, a lot of your dry goods I would recommend putting in this one. And then right here next to it is going to be our Cinemax seating. The Cinemax seating includes heat, massage, and lighting that's underneath. And they also recline so you can get cozy while you're enjoying your entertainment center. While I'm over here, I'll show off the zebra blind real quick. So what's new with our shades this year is right now it's in blackout mode. And you'll see if I put it up a little bit, it's a weighted shade. You can let a little light in. And you can really mess around with this how you'd like to. And really get the, just the right amount of light in here. Moving on to the back, you're going to see our huge U-shaped dinette that's in the back. And it also has these storage doors. These are full-length drawers that go all the way underneath, so you're going to put a lot of stuff in there. Pots and pans can fit in there really easily. Extra blankets, some awesome flexible space that you can use this for. And you're also going to be able to use this as a bed, as I'll show you. Now you'll see I have the dinette set up as a bed. And it actually makes for a really big bed and you can get some tall people that can sleep here so you can get two adults here pretty easily or a few kids and it's far enough away from the master bedroom so you're not going to be hearing each other too much. And then to finish it off you just have some storage that runs across the top so you got some extra storage above your dinette as well. Now we're over here by the entertainment setup. You got some nice storage up top that uses the full length of that slide. So a really workable space up there, a nice beveled glass insert to give it a nice pop, and then a nice TV, but how this TV works, all of our TVs are on a swivel mount, so you take this strap that's located behind the TV, and you give it a tug down, and then you're going to be able to extend this TV, and use all that space behind it for Blu-ray players, game consoles, get it hidden behind the TV, run your cords down to your entertainment setup, and you'll be good to go on that. And then down below you have a fireplace. That fireplace not only adds some nice ambiance, but it's going to be able to heat this entire coach. It'll heat up to a 500 square foot area, and this small 30 footer is definitely under that. Then moving on into the kitchen, start off with this great big island. You've got a nice island with a lot of countertop space to work with. You've got the high rise faucet, it's detachable. You have the nice farm style sink, the black stainless. We're going black stainless on everything this year, as well as the microwave, the suburban oven that actually comes with the oven and the range top. You have a glass insert up here for some extra countertop space, or it'll go back as a backsplash. There's also some extra prep space, a, a place for your pans. You have drawers, three on the other side as well space below your sink to put a trash can. So one thing that's new this year with our half ton towable units in particular is this new fridge. So this is a 12 volt refrigerator. So it's an electric fridge, but being 12 volt, it's a much lower power consumption just off the one 12 volt battery this one's equipped with because as the juice pack, you'll be able to run this fridge for 40 hours just by itself. So if you're someone that wants to off grid, and you want to expand how many batteries you have up there, add some solar, extra panels, you're going to be able to get a bit of life out of this while you're out there boondocking. The nice thing is that we added two extra cubic feet compared to our old RV style fridge that has the propane lit. So you have more shelving, more space in there, extra room in your freezer, and it's just a really nice fridge and it looks great. And then moving back here, you have the breakfast bar, I like to call it. You can put food there if you're serving people, maybe a coffee maker, crock pot, nice little extra piece of real estate over here to use. And then up above you have some storage. And then here's the second of your pantries. This is the one that has the removable shelves. So you'll be able to adjust the height in here so you can put some taller items like maybe a vacuum with, if you want to put a broom band there. You have a lot of options with this. Before we go up front to the bathroom, just wanted to show off the coat rack real quick. 
It, you'll see it's also a recessed wall, so if you wanted to put a small shoe mat over here, you'd have some area that's away from your steps. Then over here by the cluster of panels, the first thing I'll start out with is this LCI-1 control. So what this controls is your slides, all your lights in here, your awning, your auto leveling system. That auto leveling system also has hitchhike memory so it remembers where your truck was when you set this thing up and leveled it out. So you can control everything from this screen right here. You can use your smartphone or there's also a separate control up front for your auto leveling system that you can use. The next thing I'll touch on is the Dometic thermostat. That controls your 15K AC. This unit is only equipped with one AC. So it's a 115K, but our bigger units are usually equipped with two. So you have the two AC, so you have 30,000 BTUs of AC altogether. It also controls your furnace. That furnace is also ducted to your underbelly. So you have a heated and enclosed underbelly. And then you'll have your tank monitoring system. So your fresh, your gray, your black, you can see where those guys are at right here. And then you also have the voltage meter. So this voltage meter isn't on every Sabre. The way you check this out, it's a part of our juice pack. So it has a 50 watt solar panel that's roof mounted, a 12 volt battery up front, this voltage meter and a charge controller. So a good way to check if your Sabre you're looking at is equipped with that is to either see this or the panel up top. And then you'll just have two switches right here for some of the extra lights in here. Now we're in the bathroom of our 270 RL. And you'll see that our full profile really gives us a lot of head height up here, even though we're up towards the front cap. You have a nice tub surround, sliding door. And then going up here, you have your medicine cabinet. Gives you a lot of space in there. It's a backlit cabinet, so if you don't want to make it quite so bright in here, you don't have to. Nice big sink. You'll have a little tiny sink in here. Extra space for if you want to put some toothbrushes, toothpaste over there, you can do that. Underneath, you have space for some towels, as well as back here, you have a little bit more storage you can put in there. And all of our toilets in our saver are porcelain toilets. You can use some aggressive chemicals and cleaners on there. So we're up front here in the 270RL, and one of the first things you'll notice about a half ton fifth wheels is a lot of times they have a mid profile. We use that full profile. So I have a lot of head height up here, even though we don't have a bed slide our payload is under 1500 pounds. So if your half ton can pull this and it is equipped for that payload, you'll be able to pull this guy. And it's a queen bed. You'll see there's plenty of room to actually maneuver around the bed. Lots of space at the foot of the bed. And then your wardrobe is back here. So you have a nice deep wardrobe. With drawers as well as the storage that's around the bed. So you're not really sacrificing too much by losing the weight and the extra size of that wardrobe slide. And then at the foot of the bed, you have a TV backer, so you can mount a TV, run your wiring. And then the only other thing up here would be the vent that would circulate some air out of here at night for you. And it's also prepped for a second AC if you ever wanted to add a second AC in the future. All of our Sabres are 50 amp service and you can absolutely add that.